Hello everyone and welcome to another Black Mamba oversized review. In today's video we're taking a look at their LS10. This is their Storm Pioneer. It's their oversized version of the Studio Series Brawl. They've opted for the Studio Series version as it's kind of closest to his movie counterpart. Quick look around the box. We get Brawl in his tank mode on the side there. Very nice kind of worn torn backdrop. And on the back there we've got Storm Pioneer in his bot and tank mode and of course being a black member masterpiece style product we get this velcro window box where we get to view our brawl as well as some amazing artwork die cast metal transformation and here we have him out of his plastic prison and he shaped up pretty darn well now he doesn't have the heft that we're used to getting with the likes of the wei zhang figures he is kind of quite hollowed out uh, but he does have the fine detailing that black mamba uh, legendary toys etc are renowned for he does have articulation added to those joints as well and overall he does look in my opinion probably the closest to brawl's movie counterpart that we've had to date here he is alongside all of my other brawls on the market uh, the most screen accurate is the iron warriors one over this side in my opinion but he's pretty darn close he's a smidge shorter than the wei zhang version next to him uh, although he does kind of have a little bit more bulk uh, but i definitely think he kind of bears more of a resemblance to his screen counterpart we've got the small little tiny studio series one at the front there and of course we also have the dream factory kind of repaint of the official movie version as well so there's a lot of brawls there and i don't think you're going to be disappointed with whichever version you pick i think if you get the wei zhang or the black mamba i think if you've been holding out for the black mamba uh, the only thing i've noticed really is just the, how light it is in comparison to the wei zhang but it doesn't necessarily make it a bad figure it definitely does look the part as part of the Decepticon army, he stands a very nice height indeed, kind of up there with the Wei Zhang grinder, which is what I'm calling him. He's definitely the grinder in my collection. Uh, I don't know, Black Mamba's Megatron still seems rather large to me. Uh, I think him and Prime are kind of in a league of their own. Uh, these figures, in my opinion, they kind of scale a lot better with the official Megatron and the official MPMs than they do kind of with their own versions. Swapping out Black Mamba for my MPM Megatron there just to prove my point. I think that scaling is pretty darn awesome. That looks the part. Q, the boys are back in town. Just taking a quick look at that head sculpt. Really nicely done. Again, like their Ironhide, he does have LED function on those eyes. Head has a little bit of upwards motion and a bit of downwards motion, kind of rocks backwards in that socket, left and right. Shoulders are on friction joints and go round, all the way around on the side there. We've got a rotation on the elbow. We've got a bit of few sideways elbow action going on. And then we've got some up and down motion and some rotation on the wrists. There is a waist rotation underneath that backpack. There is no Abdominal crunch though, we get motion up and down on these sections here. We get forwards and backwards on those legs. They can come out to the side that far. Do love the fact that this section here doesn't move when you bend it out. Uh, we get a bend on that knee, not the deepest of bends, but a bend nonetheless. And we get some pivot on those feet as well as some up and down motion. I love these claw section, I love the uh, barrels folding into the feet as well. The downside to them upscaling the Studio Series uh, in comparison to the likes of Wei Zhang, etc., is they don't add all of the kind of ratchets and they keep the kind of modifications down to a minimum, but I absolutely adore how this guy looks. The backpack does kind of just sit there and of course we can add those sections onto the hands. But uh, all in all, I think they've done 
they have done a pretty sharp job I think you know, when we get to the transformation it's not the most complex of things it's just a lot of panel forming a lot of moving parts in and out and folding but the overall effect is definitely worth it I just think he looks sensational alongside those MPM figures so I'll be keeping him and I think I'll be selling one of my Wei Zhangs. I don't need two Wei Zhangs. Keep this one for the bot mode and I'll keep one of the Wei Zhangs for the tank mode. Now, as much as I love his bot mode, let's get him transformed up. Let's, let's check out the deformation. First things first, you want to come around to the back of the legs and you want to just move this section up. And these are spring loaded. Do you see how I did that? That's going to lock out of position and this will come up uh, really nice spring load mechanism on these tabs here and these wheel sections just tab in at the top there they are ball mounted come around to the chest this section here is going to untab from the back of the neck bring this panel down bring this panel down holding on to the back here there's a very tight hinge on the waist you want to give this a pull and that untabs from here, these will come up. This is one of the only die cast pieces in this, but uh, each to their own. Cannon pieces come down, and this is on a rather large hinge. You want to bring that up these arms. I'll tab into the side, you want to just give that a little nudge. Make sure that this back panel here is just rotated down out of the way, not just this panel, but this entire black piece, because this piece here is gonna rock and rotate up. And then that allows us to bring these forward, bring the head up and under, and bring those around like so, and then that's gonna come in, rocking into that chest panel and then that's going to push and slide and tidy up nicely. All right, get the legs, twist them around, make sure that the spiky toe is pushed all the way back and make sure that the toes come in and you see they just tab in to the side like so. These then tab in together. It's starting to look a lot like Christmas. We can bring these panels up and disengage the weapons from the hands. This section here is going to come out. As you can see, that's going to form the front barrel of the cannon. Bring these arms all the way around to the back. And then that arm just tucks under this section here. And this is all going to push and tab in so it tidies up again move this section out this piece is going to come up moving the arm moving the arm back on that hinge allows this panel to push and rotate in straighten up this turret piece and again, like we did on the other side, there's a hole just here. And that's going to line up with this panel here. And then bring this down and now line up with that secondary hole. Straighten up all of this torso piece. Bring those fingers down. Make sure that this hinge, this ball mounted hinge, rocks backwards. You have to remember that this socket in the inside here is independent to the internal socket. So if this keeps popping out, just make sure you hold onto the back of the peg and move this outer piece. And that's then going to push, lock and tab it and around like so. And bring that around to the front and then push and secure these on to the tread so again with this side this is going to come down and then just holding on to this ball mount that's going to rotate nicely
push and tab, and then it's going to come inwards, sliding on the underside, and then lining up. Nicely. And here he is with everything tabbed in. It was just tabbing in here. This section just comes down and kind of sits on top. This can rotate around. So we don't have any uh, open and closing tabs like we do on the Wei Zhang version. There is a bend on this as well. So we can bend it around in his bot mode. Uh, it does slide inside here, which allows it to kind of uh, lock into position but it's a really kind of nice tank mode. It tidies up pretty well. It doesn't really hold together as nicely as I'd like at the back, but I do like these barrels as opposed to the big foot section that we get on the Wei Zhang. But again, the weapons on the top are not amazing. These are ball mounted, so we can bring those up if you choose to. I don't personally like these being up here, but I know uh, people do and they want it to kind of be beefed out as much as possible. Now, it is a fair bit smaller than the Wei Zhang tank overall. But again, uh, it's all a matter of preference. Yes, it's smaller. It's kind of more in keeping with the original movie style one, but then we don't get a big old selection of feet on the back of this one either so it swings and roundabouts i think this one scales pretty well with the human alliance figures and i don't think it's going to hurt having two different size tanks in our arsenal black members does tidy up really nicely it's a bit of a mission to get everything tabbed in it's much like their iron hide a few panels at the front here you pop in some of the ones at the back pop out it's a matter of kind of holding everything together i had to do it with two hands hence the reason that a lot of it isn't on camera it's not a tricky transformation once everything's where it's meant to be it's just a matter of folding all of these panels in this was the trickiest bit with this ball mounted section here but i explained that previously and here we have him alongside Prime, Ironhide, and Skids. Is that Skids or my flapper? Either way, it's one of the twins from Human Alliance to give you an idea of how they fare. Personally, I will be keeping this in his bot mode. I just think the bot mode ticks a lot of boxes for me. Uh, tank mode, I don't think is as strong as the Wei Zhang's, but I think that's partly due to Wei Zhang having those rubber treads and just the sheer bulk and heft. But that being said, I'm selling my Wei Zhang that I store in bot mode and just keeping him for tank mode. So what does that tell you about the Black Mamba robot mode? Thanks again to TF Direct for making this review possible. I've included a link in the description below where it can be purchased. And I've also included a link to the Black Mamba playlist over on the side here. Until next time, from myself and Brawl, thanks for watching and goodbye.